Did you ever consider why so many businesses are affected by malware such as viruses and ransomware? Do these businesses not run antivirus software? Or is there another reason that they keep getting brought to their knees by the latest threat? To understand this, you must first understand what is malware. Modern day operating systems give developers the ability to create their own software. Applications such as web browsers, PDF readers, education applications and healthcare systems are used every day throughout the world. In fact, most businesses make use of 50 to 100 additional applications for the success of their business. Malware, such as viruses, ransomware or spyware, is similar to everyday software. It is written in the same languages and in most cases runs in the same manner. The big difference is the intent of why it was written. While most software is written with good intentions, malware is written with the sole purpose of causing damage. So how is malware stopped? Most businesses run some sort of antivirus software that is intended to stop malware from running. The fundamental way that antivirus works is by creating a list of bad software hashes and adding them to a blacklist. When an application is opened, it is checked against the blacklist and blocked if listed. This is very effective at blocking known viruses. Antivirus companies add tens or even hundreds of thousands of common malware threats to their databases each day. This, however, is not enough. There are over a million pieces of new malware created each day and antivirus companies are not able to keep up. Modern antivirus software is adding new methods such as behavioral monitoring, heuristics and outbreak detection to detect these unknown viruses. While these additional methods are shrinking the gap, antivirus software still falls short of protecting businesses. This is why we see headlines like, hospitals turn away patients after a ransomware attack on a regular basis. Over 80% of businesses have been affected by some kind of malware attack in the last two years, and often experience data breaches and cyber attacks through the use of legitimate remote access tools. These applications are not detected by any antivirus and run silently in the background unknowingly to the business. So how can businesses protect themselves from software threats? ThreatLocker's application whitelisting solution works in addition to your current antivirus software and gives you as a business control over what software is running. All unauthorized software, including known and unknown malware, is blocked, regardless of whether a user tries to execute it or whether it's executed through a vulnerability or a backdoor. Creating policies is a breeze. It can be done in a few clicks and don't worry about creating the initial policies. The ThreatLocker client will scan all of your computers and create suggested policies for you. Unlike traditional application whitelisting solutions, ThreatLocker can be deployed in as little as a few hours. Not only do you have complete control over what is running, the ThreatLocker audit gives your IT or security team a full log of every application that is opened, including the hash, digital certificates, which user opened it and on what computer. Installation is easy. You can simply log into our cloud-based portal and click on the download link. The install is a single click or be, can be deployed through MSI. Once you have locked down your system with ThreatLocker, you can rest assured that nothing else can run. That means no viruses, malware or even other potential software threats. But don't worry, ThreatLocker won't stand in the way of you doing business. Approving new software is easy. It can be done in a few simple clicks and in less than 30 seconds. You can even approve applications for a fixed amount of time. So if you need to enable remote access software temporarily, you can rest assured it won't run longer than you want it to. Sign up for a full demo of ThreatLocker and see how we can help you secure your business today.